All right, that's a little better. Maybe this one will have sound. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a rant today um, and not so much of a news video. This one's going to be about chilled ponds. Yes, chilled ponds owned by, owned by Patrick Cavanaugh, who also owns the Norfolk Admirals. As someone who plays there, I have questions. Mainly, why isn't he dumping money in here? And I don't mean dumping money because it's a dumpster fire. You need to improve this rank. We were sitting there, several of us, in one of the locker rooms before a pickup game. The bench gave out. We don't have stalls in these locker rooms, by the way. It's a bench. And he upgraded the locker rooms, which caused a bit of a price hike for everything, really, including pickup. Um, pickup only went up by $1 from 14 to 15 but um, let you in on a little secret. Public skates and puck shoots went up 3 bucks. That's right, 12 to 15 from $12 to $15 just so he could put some 2x4 shelving above the benches and not fix the benches. No. No, four of us were sitting on this thing and it collapsed. What if one of us would have gotten hurt? All they did was dr drill different holes into the wall, mount the bench back. They didn't even bother rebolting down the wood. That's how cheap this man is. And he owns a professional ice hockey team. And not just that, he owns that rink. Let that sink in. Just let that sink in. He doesn't want to spend money, but he will gladly take your money. This man makes Mr. Krabs from Spongebob, I kid you not, look like the most generous person in the world. Like Mr. Scrooge after the ghosts have visited him. Okay, this guy penny pinches so bad. I'll tell you another example. Pickup was canceled last week. Why? I'll tell you why. The Zamboni broke. And the compressor for the one sheet of ice, the LTD rink, within Chilled Ponds, there's two sheets in there. Um, that's been bad for the past three years, and they've had problems with it melting and having to shut it down, canceling pickups. Let me let you in on a secret here, Pat. Us pickup guys are your second highest means of making money. Right behind Beer League. Because more of us come out there than due to puck shoots. And sure, on average, there are more skaters over the week at the public skates. But you still pull in more from us. Because most of us also play beer league. And not only that, that little bar they have there, um, that's also really overpriced. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. They go to that bar. That bar pays rent to be there, I'm pretty sure. That's revenue in your pocket, Pat. Revenue you could use to make that rink a lot better. I mean a lot better. The ice is thin. We can see the cracks from the coolant tubes, okay? We, we can see the base sometimes when it's really thin. How about some thicker ice, Pat? How about, how about preventative maintenance on your Zamboni so when it drives down the ice, it's not only pumping out water to just half no joke so if this is the path of the zamboni this is water this is just being run over the ice dry there's it's like a little miniature zamboni only got every other part of the ice no joke this man won't spend money on the rink so you would think he's saving it for the hockey team that's a joke He's not. I'm pretty sure that even with the small salary cap of the ECHL, um, he's not spending to the cap. This man probably barely spends to the cap floor. He's renovated the area around rinkside at Norfolk Scope. And no one buys tickets there because they're insanely expensive. Pat, 17 bucks for nosebleed seats for a bottom table ECHL team? Dude. 
You are such a terrible businessman, it is not even funny. Those are AHL prices for a bottom table team. And you want 80 bucks, almost, for some of these high quality seats. Well, what high quality? We're not seeing high quality hockey, that's for sure. Ever since Admirals moved from the, a from the AHL back down to the ECHL in 2015, they've been garbage. You're the third owner since then, and they're still garbage. It's you. It's you, Pat. So thanks. Thanks for ruining hockey culture in Hampton Roads. Thank you for ruining a local rink by jacking up the prices so high. People are really just thinking about going to Iceland of Virginia Beach, which is half size, super cold, tiny locker rooms, ceiling only about eight foot high. They'd rather play there than play at your rink. Heck, I'd even rather drive to the Iceplex in Yorktown to do that than I would rather play at your rink. But you see, you've kind of got us by the balls because neither of those ranks are doing pickup right now. And if they are, it's Iceland. And if it's Iceland, it's six in the morning. And all the guys that I play with are up at six in the morning at work. Most of us are anyway. So what are you doing, Pat? What are you doing? I'm pretty sure you're just in this for the money. You don't care about hockey. You don't care about us. Sell the team to someone who cares. Sell the rink to someone who cares. And go live in your freaking mansion. Come on. No one, no one likes what you do to the rink. We all talk crap about you. Because you are crap. You are literally the biggest scumbag in all of Hampton Roads. And that's saying quite a lot. Because there are some major scumbags. You care so little about hockey here that you would rather jack up prices than spend the money to fix things. That's you no need to be fixed. You have the money. We all know you do. You bought a hockey team, dude. You already own the rink. You had millions. That's millions, plural, people. I don't know what you want to do in the future, Pat, but it's obviously not, not su succeeding with the Admirals. It's not. Because every time a player starts to do good, bye-bye. Later, bud. Have a nice life. We'll see you some other time. Hope you enjoyed your stay in Norfolk. That's exactly what it is. And you can't even get any good players because no one wants to play here because you barely get 2,000 people to any game. Let me let you in on a little secret, folks. The most attendance Scope ever sees ever since the AHL Admirals left and became the San Diego Goals I kid you not, is the Guns and Hoses game between Norfolk PD and Norfolk Fire. It's a great game for their respective charities. They raise a lot of money through the ticket sales, and those tickets give you a free ticket to the Admirals game that follows. It's amazing. At the Guns and Hoses game alone, I think there were probably 7,000 people. The Admirals game later that night was, if I remember correctly, about 8,900 people. Scope for perspective for those of you that don't know or have never been there or aren't from the area. Norfolk Scope, Scope holds about 10,800 people. That is the official capacity. That's the most I've seen it packed since the days that Iserman was leading Tampa Bay and the Admirals were Tampa's farm team. That team won the Calder Cup in the 2011-12 season. Buildings were packed basically since this was an AHL team because I remember it. I remember them in 2000 being an AHL affiliate of the Blackhawks. Seeing Duncan Keith play, a little bit of Corey Crawford, Dustin Bufflin, James Wisniewski, all those guys. The Hawks were terrible, and yet Admirals still drew crowds. They started drawing even bigger crowds when Tampa became their parent club. And they won the Calder Cup. 
and they were still doing pretty well in, into 2015. And then later, back to the ECHL. And now Pat Cavanaugh, a former Norfolk Admiral from 1989-90, owns the team. The man was a hockey player. That's it. He has no clue about running a team. He has no clue about running a business. Uh, if he did, um, his business would not have so many complaints against it by the people who use the facility. And it's basically the only good facility for them in the area. So it's either they go there or they don't play hockey. Um, that's up to them. And I don't know about y'all, I'd rather just play hockey, but this is getting ridiculous. Your little repair in the locker room to it, LTD, that was pathetic. You, you didn't even have them rebolt the wood down? Dude, really? You And you didn't even repair the bench, you just moved it slightly, drilled different holes out, and hope it doesn't give way again. No one sits on that bench anymore because we're all scared it's going to break. The ice is so thin, the people that have played up north in actual good rinks laugh. People any people who have played in good rinks anywhere laugh. It's pathetic. I shouldn't be able to see the little cracks under the ice. You don't you're not supposed to. But the rank that the Whalers play on the USPHL team, oh, that's a great rank. That rank's nice. It is. The locker rooms are kept up better, too. And not just the ones for them, but the ones for anyone. But we don't really skate on They give us the crappy ice. So, thanks, Pat, for making us just question hockey in Hampton Roads. For making us really just want to take our business elsewhere but realizing we have nowhere else to take it. And honestly, I'd rather move out of the area and take my business somewhere else because you obviously cannot run a business. You obviously don't know what you're doing. You obviously don't care about your clientele. I mean, really, dude, what is wrong with you? And like Forrest Gump said, well, that's all I